John Wick's exciting to me. I think that's this kind of combination of this awesome world building, uh, this kind of almost kind of dark fantasy conspiracy stuff with obviously this incredible fight choreography and the, uh, the amazing action work that's being done in those movies. When we started crafting the fighting style, we came up with this idea of gun fu, which is like the really close quarters, flips, almost dance-like moves that Wick does. There's a, a, a balletic quality to it. I think there is, I think it's beautiful. I think there's a natural bond there between games and genre filmmaking. I think we have a lot of the same angles, the same aesthetics, it's, you know, the same, um, I guess, roots. Like, we should be doing stuff that's interesting. We have this amazing opportunity to adapt this world into a video game. So when the boys came and said they wanted to do a strategic game with John Wick, we thought that was very interesting. Like, could they take what we thought was pretty cool and tactical about the character and have a video game audience being immersed in the same mindset as our actual character? The first pitch was, was awesome. He sort of nailed exactly what we were thinking we would want to do with a video game for Wick. But also Mike and the team are such true, hardcore John Wick fans. It's almost as if Mike was with us on that first John Wick when we were choreographing the action scenes. Out of that, you have to remember that in most games, you're very omniscient. You see everything at all times. You see where the guys are hiding. Like, it's different strategically when you don't know what you're seeing. We realized that the way to make a John Wick strategy game was to use time. Everything John does in the, in the movies is built around this idea of, um, of finding his moment, finding his opening, taking a chance. And then suddenly we realized we were able to emulate a lot of the log logic and action choices that are in the movies. And that's the big, the big benefit of having access to the filmmakers, having access to the stunt team, having access to Chad, having access uh, to all of these people who put this together and figured it out. You're not making a copy of something, you're trying to work out the thought process that led to that thing existing in the first place. A lot of times in movies you don't see people reload, you don't see them run out of bullets, we're like, well, we're not going to cut. We're just going to show the actor actually reload his gun. We're going to work that into the choreography. And we're just going to, you know, do it how actual operators do in the field. I think Chad ultimately kind of had the most impact on the design of the game with things like um, John Can't See Round Corners, which led us to kind of exploring Fog of War in the context of this game. How the timing and rhythm works with the stunt team and figuring out, okay, they, the way they pace a reload and where they place that in a fight. And, you know, they kind of they crack it. You know, you are going to be able in this game uh, to work your way through fight scenes. And if you're a real John Wick fan and you know how he fights and you know how he makes decisions, you're going to have a good time in the game. You're going to be able to figure it out. For action nerds like us, you know, that I think it captured perfectly what we were trying to get when we originally started trying to, 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 to conceive the John Wick action. You know, John Wick matters to a lot of people and having those people who it really matters to in the room with you is invaluable.